Oral irritated fibroma is a benign growth that appears inside the mouth. It's not cancerous but is formed from fibrous tissue. So, what causes it? Well, it's usually due to chronic irritation. This can come from repeatedly biting the cheek or lips, or even from dental appliances. Now, when you look at this fibroma, it's a small, firm bump. Most of the time, it blends with the color of the surrounding mouth tissue, but sometimes it can appear slightly different. It's a condition that can pop up at any age, but it's more common in adults. Interestingly, around 2% of people have it, but many don't even realize because they might not notice these small bumps. So, what makes the oral irritated fibroma stand out? First, it's a solid lump. It doesn't hurt unless you poke or prod at it too much. And it's noticeably firmer than the tissue around it. Let's talk about how it forms. When there's continuous irritation in the mouth, the body reacts with inflammation. Over time, to defend the irritated spot, the body builds up fibrous tissue. This results in the firm lump we've been talking about. Without any treatment, this fibroma can stick around indefinitely. But if the source of irritation goes away, the fibroma might shrink a bit. The most common spots where these fibromas pop up are the cheeks, especially the inner side where accidental bites happen, and also on the gums and tongue. How do doctors confirm it's an oral irritated fibroma? The surest way is through a biopsy. This means taking a tiny sample of the lump and examining it under a microscope. They'll see the fibrous tissue, signs of inflammation like white blood cells, but no signs of cancer. Before this, an oral surgeon or dentist would typically examine the mouth and the lump. If someone wants to get rid of it, the best way is to have it surgically removed. This not only gets rid of the fibroma but also lets doctors double-check the tissue to be certain about the diagnosis.